Valve replacement surgery is a medical procedure that involves replacing a defective valve in the heart with a new artificial valve. Our heart has four valves that help in directing blood flow in one direction. These valves open only on one side, allowing blood to move forward. One of the valves is located between the right atrium and right ventricle, which helps in transferring deoxygenated blood from the right atrium to the right ventricle. This valve is known as the tricuspid valve. From there, the deoxygenated blood is pumped to the lungs through the pulmonary artery. At the beginning of the pulmonary artery, there is a valve that prevents backflow of blood into the ventricle. This valve is known as the pulmonary valve. Similarly, on the left side of the heart, between the left atrium and left ventricle, there is a valve that allows oxygenated blood to flow from the left atrium to the left ventricle. This valve is called the mitral valve. From the left ventricle, blood is pumped into the entire body through the aorta. At the opening of the aorta, there is a valve that stops backward blood flow, ensuring blood only flows forward. This valve is known as the aortic valve. Sometimes, due to various reasons, these valves may stop functioning properly, leading to inefficient blood flow. Valve defects are often associated with age, infections, or may be present from birth as congenital heart defects. Defective valves make the heart work harder, and over time, the heart muscles may weaken, increasing the risk of heart failure. Thus, it becomes essential to repair or replace the damaged valve in the heart. There are two types of valve replacement surgeries. Number one, mechanical valve replacement. In this procedure, the defective valve is replaced with a metal valve. While this type of valve lasts longer, patients need to take blood thinning medicines after the surgery to prevent blood clots around the valve. Number two, biological valve replacement. Here, the defective valve is replaced with a valve made from human, pig, or cow tissues. The advantage is that blood thinning medicines are not required, but this type of valve may need replacement with another surgery after five to 10 years. The choice between these two types of replacement depends on the patient's age and condition, as suggested by the doctor. Let's take a look at how the valve replacement surgery is performed. First, the patient is given general anesthesia to be unconscious during the surgery. Then, the surgeon makes an incision in the center of the chest, exposing the chest bone, sternum, which is then cut and separated. Next, the protective covering around the heart, called the pericardium, is opened to fully expose the heart. The heart is then connected to a heart-lung machine, which takes over its function, temporarily stopping the heart. The surgeon cuts the area around the defective valve and removes it. Then, the selected artificial valve is inserted and securely attached. After ensuring proper blood flow through the new valve, the heart is disconnected from the heart-lung machine. Finally, the surgeon closes all layers of the chest using stitches, completing the valve replacement surgery. The patient is kept in the ICU for some time for close monitoring and then shifted to a regular ward before eventually being discharged home. Valve replacement surgery has a high success rate, approximately 98%. Thanks for watching.